Hi everyone, I've decided to make this video because this summer I had so many students write in their answer booklet because the mean is greater than the median so the distribution is positively skewed and I was sitting there thinking well I can see why they say that because of the way you've been taught but uh, it's not always true. Let's first review the distributions and the relationship to mode of mode, median and mean. Alright, in a standard course you're given three cases of distributions. This which is symmetrical, this where you've got more observations taking low values and very few taking high values and here we've got the reverse where most of the observations take high values and very few take low values. Let's think of some examples where we might get such a shape symmetrical shape distribution well height weight they will give us such distributions this one where you've got few observations taking extremely high values salaries so most people take this interval of salary very few take this one so directors fat cats that kind of thing they take very very few of those take high much higher salaries. Finally, this one where we've got m most observations taking high values, very few taking low values. Well, how about a very easy exam? So, in that case, most students will score very, very well. Right. To give the names of the distributions, it's something like this, which is evenly spread with the peak in the middle, that's symmetric. Um, the second one, where most observations take low values, or a few take high values, it's what we call positive or right skew. And finally, this one, which is the opposite of the positive skew, we call negative or left skew. Now, where does the word positive skew, negative skew come from? Because it's not always easy to tell from a plot whether something is symmetrical right skew or negative skew we have numerical measures for degrees of skewness now if the skewness measure turn, comes out to be zero it means that we've got perfectly symmetrical distribution if the skewness comes out to be a positive value we get we say it's positively skewed if the skewness measure comes out to be negative then we say that it's got negative skew so that's where those words negative and positive skew come from now a remark is all in order here these rule of thumb will hold if we're dealing with unimodal distributions and random variables that are continuous unimodal we just mean it's got the one hump here continuous the random variable can take continuous it's continuous if any or both these conditions do not hold this rule of thumb that you've learned in the textbooks will not necessarily be true okay example one in this example I've got from Professor Hippal at the University of Ohio. Now he presents a general social survey number of people over 18 in a household. This turns out to be what the distribution looks like. Clearly, so you've got number of adults on the horizontal axis, number of households with num those number of adults on the vertical axis, Clearly, we can see that it's positively skewed here. Okay, um, uh, let's backtrack a bit. Clearly, then this is also a discrete. This is a discrete random variable because x here takes value one, two, three, four, five. Stop. Okay, so it's a discrete distribution, so it's not continuous. What we see is also it's positively skewed. Now, the data from this data, it can be sh we can see that doing the calculations, mode and median are going to be less than the mean. So here is a violation of what we learnt. It, the mean is less than the median, but it's positively skewed. 
Now, from what we've learnt before, we would have concluded if we saw just the numbers, we'd have said mean less than the median, it should be negative. But here is an example where mean less than the median, but it's positive skew. So it flies in the face of what you've learnt. Example 2. Here we have a random variable that's continuous. It's got two humps here. It turns out that it's slightly negative skew, so the skewness measure comes out to be negative. But crunching the numbers, we'll find that the mean is actually greater than the median. Now from what we've learnt in stats class, mean bigger than median would have concluded that it's positively skewed. But here, mean bigger than median, we've got negative skew. So what does this teach us? Well, it teaches us that it's dangerous just to compare mean, median and mode numerical values and make the conclusion from there. We should also look at the shape of the distribution, so ske you know, sketch it, plot it. Since this is all that you're likely going to see, these three cases, let us be clear that these three hold for sure if you've got a random variable that's continuous and it's unimodal. If it's not any of these two, these rules could be violated. So long as you don't go through life thinking that mean bigger than the median means that you've got positive skew, I've done my job. Fantastic. I'm Phil, I'm your statistics mentor.